Raps, Holix, welcome back to another episode. We are down here in Marathon, Florida, in the Florida Keys today, and uh, this is day two of a quick little two day trip to the Keys. And yesterday I fished uh, further out on the Keys uh, for bonefish, and uh, we caught one, which was cool, and got a lot of other uh, smaller fish. And uh, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll link it in the description or somewhere on the screen. And uh, today I wanted to uh, do something different and try and get uh, out on the ocean and fish some hard bottom structure. And uh, I've never been offshore in the Keys. I've primarily only inshore fished. But unfortunately, uh, it was only supposed to blow like 5 to 10 all day today. And it's already blowing like 15 to 20 and it's uh, a little after 8 in the morning. So that could change because uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the wind can just, you know, dies out uh, throughout the day, especially when they're calling for low winds. But, and tomorrow is supposed to blow really hard, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, if the wind doesn't die down, we'll just uh, stick to a creek that's right over there that uh, I've never fished before. And uh, we'll explore around and see if we can catch some fish off the mangroves or docks or just in the channel. And uh, I already caught a bunch of juicy little uh, greenies or sardines. So uh, we've got the well filled with bait. And uh, now we just got to get the kayak loaded and ready and uh, plop it in the water. So I'll see you guys out there. All right, starting off by cutting across the creek here. It looks like the tide just started coming in. So uh, I'm gonna take a look along uh, these mangroves here. Let's see if we have soft enough bottom to stick my shallow water anchor. Oh yeah, plenty soft enough. And then now let's grab a little live bait. Let's just nose hook this guy. I'm gonna stand up so uh, I can see if there's anything cruising right on that sand along the mangroves. And uh, this is my first time fishing this area, so I'm just, uh, you know, gonna wait here like 10, 15 minutes, see what I see, and see if I can learn something from that. If I don't see anything, maybe we'll move in that way or out that way. But yeah, let's take our first cast. Oh, fish on. Found something. Ah, just a little cuda. But it's better than nothing. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I'm going to move uh, down a little bit. And I'm going to put on a generous coating of SPF 70 because I got toasted yesterday out on the water fishing for bonefish. And uh, I had to put on some aloe last night and I didn't get too badly burned, but I definitely got a little. So I'm just gonna make sure we cover up and don't get burned at all today. I've got to get some kind of like watery like uh, fishing pants or like a, a basically like something like a bathing suit but like pants I gotta say shallow water anchor especially for down here in the Keys is worth every penny let's give it a try right here Fish on. Oh no. No. Another little devilish cuda. These guys yesterday cut off all my voodoo shrimp, which was annoying. Cause then uh, right after we caught a bonefish, we, you know, we lost all of our lures that we were using to try and catch bonefish. So then I couldn't catch any more. Got something else nice cruising right here. Not sure what it is. Oh, he's trying to eat it. He's trying to eat it. I think he ate it. Oh, I think it's a little bonnet head. 
Oh man, he's ripping. Whew. Wasn't expecting that. he hasn't cut me off yet must have got a perfect hook set with uh, the circle hook and this shallow water anchor is really being a pain there we go another toothy critter in the net cute little shark and I actually have my D hooker so I'm gonna put him back in the water just briefly hopefully he chills out and I'm just gonna hook this on the line it slides down to the bend of the hook and it should pop out Bye bye. All right. Well, pretty epic. We sight casted that uh, little bonnet head. Uh, you know, no matter the species, sight fishing always is uh, really fun. And uh, after we caught that little baby shark, uh, we actually ventured way out onto the flat. And uh, I probably went out there about a half a mile, and then we drifted back into the mangroves. And I was hoping to see uh, some tarpon cruising, but uh, I didn't see a single thing, not even a cuda. So uh, we're gonna head up inside the creek and uh, see if we can find some more fish up there. Well, we made it inside the creek and uh, I think I'm gonna try just tossing out this little Yuzuri to start and uh, do some trolling. Nothing on the troll, but uh, back that way, I went past uh, a couple big yachts. So I'm gonna try drifting a live bait underneath them. All right, this little guy should catch something. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna let the bait drift under into the shadow line under this yacht. And uh, there's gotta be like at least some snappers under here I would think. Or a uh, little snook, big snook. Oh, just got eight. I'm gonna let him eat it. There he is. Fish on. Oh, nice. That's a good quality mangrove snapper. Look at that guy. Let's get a measure on him. Nice, a little shy of 14 inches. And uh, he kind of swallowed the hook. So, you know what? I'll just cut this. And I'm gonna bleed him and throw him in the cooler. All right, let's grab another hook. And while my, my uh, snapper is bleeding out, I'll try and catch another. Oh, there's a good fish. I don't know what 
we have here but it's something heavy really heavy what could this be oh this has got to be a grouper of some sort oh no he's got me on the pilings I could feel him rubbing on them I'm gonna play this fish super light and just try and get him out away from the structure oh I think I just did I felt him rub on one last thing and then I just got him out oh no oh this fish is still controlling the flight fight dang it stay hooked please stay hooked oh man please stay hooked big fish big fish this has got to be a grouper just how it's stand deep and trying to find the structure This current really isn't helping me right now. right under the boat I can see my little split shot come on fish come on Oh, I got him out. Got him out. It looks like some type of grouper species. Oh, look at that. It looks like a juvenile Goliath. Oh, sweet. Heck yeah. I can't believe we caught this fish. I'm definitely way outgunned and uh, I only had 40 pound leader. All right, just pop the hook out. And uh, this is my first ever Goliath grouper. Whew, that was such an epic fight. And I can't believe we were able to get him away from the structure uh, without him uh, breaking us off, especially on that light tackle. And uh, let me get a quick measure on her, and then we're gonna send her back. Right now, uh, you are allowed to keep some Goliaths, but I believe there's like a lottery. You have to like win the lottery, 
to get a chance to keep one and then you have to pay like 500 bucks and you're allowed to keep uh, like a certain size Goliath. And uh, this one looks to be about like 32 inches. So pretty sweet. Let's uh, get her back in the water and uh, I'm gonna bring her up by the uh, structure where I caught her and uh, drop her off. Wow, she's biting so hard I can't even open the gripper. Down she goes, right back to the structure. All right, so let's grab another bait. And uh, by the way, that actually wasn't my first Goliath. I have caught others, but uh, they were like this big. <laughs> so uh, we'll consider the one we caught today our first uh, like larger size uh, juvenile. And uh, of course, we know that uh, Goliaths get a lot bigger than that one. But uh, it was still super fun on this light tackle setup. This is my 7.6 uh, Dark Matter Fishaholic Inshore Series spinning rod and uh, the 51 VR van stall. And I only have 10 pound Green Moss Pro Braid and I'm using a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader with a little split shot to uh, get the bait down in the strike zone. Hmm. You know what's interesting? I'm marking some other fish out away from the boat. I'm gonna try dropping this bait uh, out away from the structure. Oh my gosh, there's a pile of fish right here. And they all look like decent size too. Maybe they're snook just stacked up on the bottom or a big snapper. Got eight. Ah, oh. and brought into the structure. Oh, yeah, there's a fish on there. But he's got me in the structure. So weird. This might be another grouper. He's still on there, but uh, definitely wrapped on something. I don't know if you can hear that noise. It's my line rubbing on the bottom. Oh, got him out. Oh, another keeper mangrove. That was weird. I, I can't believe this guy got me on the structure so quick. Unless it's like a sunken boat. I can see the structure now. This guy swallowed the hook too. And he is a good quality mangrove measuring 12 and a half inches so we'll throw them in the box too another one real quick nice another keeper Level five, maybe we can get two more. All right, let's see if we can get another one or two quick on this same bottom structure that's here. It seems like there's quite a few of them. There he is. <laughs> this one is probably like a borderline keeper, but knowing that there is 12, 13, 14 inches down there. We'll just t toss them back. Oh, 
There's a good one. Nice. Good keeper size fish. Perfect hook set. All right, let's see if we can get one more last keeper mangrove. And then uh, I may move up to just try that yacht quick. And then we're gonna keep on moving. And I wanna see if we can find a spot, uh, maybe where some tarpon are hanging out or some snook. And I also wanna see if I can cast net uh, some pinfish because then I can come back to this spot and cast the pinfish in here alive on uh, some heavier tackle. And maybe we could pull out another grouper. There he is. That feels like a good one. Had me in the structure for a second. Nice, another keeper. All right, we're limited. All right, well, I got a big update for you. I'm shot, my mind is fried. We uh, left those two yachts there probably three, four hours ago, and uh, we kayaked through the creek and uh, to the harbor on the other side that uh, eventually then opens up to where uh, the Atlantic side and the Gulf side meet uh, under the Seven Mile Bridge. And uh, I went over there looking for tarpon because uh, one guy that went by on a boat told me that he saw some over there. So I went over there, saw one tarpon, trolled around for like an hour or so uh, with uh, live bait and uh, also like trolled drifted, you know, I should say, and uh, didn't have any bites. So I searched around for like another like 30, 40 minutes, uh, didn't see any other signs of tarpon and uh, all the bait that I had in the bucket died. So uh, then I was like, well, like, you know, let's, let's try and catch maybe some pinfish, maharas, or maybe some grunts uh, so we could maybe drop down by those two yachts for another grouper. But uh, unfortunately, uh, as you can see here, the kayak is a mess because I just spent the last like two hours trying to get uh, some maharas and pinfish. And I didn't see a single pinfish in the shallows. I saw a lot of maharas. Uh, but uh, they were super spooky and uh, I threw over a bunch a few times but uh, the grass was so thick that uh, they were just swimming underneath the net and uh, I really should have uh, brought some really small little hooks and uh, then I could have like cut uh, the little uh, pilchards or greenies into little pieces and that probably would have caught the maharas and uh, I just spent a little bit of time trying to catch grunts but uh, I, you know, I couldn't get them and you know or, or well I should say I saw them and uh, rigged up to try and catch them and just when I did that uh, then I couldn't find them and all I was catching were small little mangrove snapper and so now that the sun is starting to get lower in the sky and I just checked the cooler and uh, our ice is uh, getting thin it's mostly uh, water uh, right now but it's really cold water so it's keeping our catch uh, probably somewhat fresh uh, considering that though uh, we're gonna Head it on in and pack it up, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It uh, was a decent day, good little variety uh, of catch, and uh, I enjoyed uh, exploring around a little bit. And I also saw a bonefish back in here, which was really cool, and uh, I'm kind of bummed I didn't bring any like little voodoo shrimp or uh, hair jigs, because if I had one, I would have tied it on and threw it at him quick, because he was uh, hanging out uh, in the current in about like a foot of water, just chilling there, and uh, he wasn't spooked by me, so it would have been sweet if we had something to throw at him. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more. And uh, moving forward from this video, I'm gonna go back up to like Palm City Stewart uh, for probably a day or two. Hopefully gonna make one more video out of there. Uh, and you know, that's where I live now, it's my home. And then uh, I'm actually gonna be going out to Tampa for like a week or so. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing and filming out uh, on the West Coast. And I've never fished out there. So uh, I'm just gonna be an open book and um, see what happens hopefully uh, get on some good fish so uh, I, I will see you guys in the next video and like always live to fish fish to live
you're still watching, I'm just gonna sh show you uh, me flaying up one of the five snappers uh, with this sword fillet knife. And I'm really stoked about uh, this nice limit of mangroves that we got. I'm gonna have uh, some for dinner tonight and uh, some that I can probably freeze as well. And there you have it. Beautiful, tasty mangrove snapper filet. Yum. I'll see you guys in the next episode.